This is the beginning of Sam's point here. The run. We're going to the left. This is one full mile of nothing but uphills to get to that beautiful lake. Here's some of the old houses that are still along this trail. Summertime, blueberry season, huckleberry pickers used to inhabit this whole side of the mountain on this trail. Other things also inhabit, sorry I'm out of breath, but this is a, just did a little big uphill. There's more uphills to come. But Justin and I counted a black bear right here last year. We were running. The bear just looked at us and ran the other way. So, gotta be careful when you're out here. All sorts of wildlife. Another nasty uphill here. Really nasty uphill. Man, gotta regulate your breath. The gravels will gravel everywhere so you can't lose your grip. Blueberry bushes everywhere. So we're approaching mile one. We're still on a slight incline. Here's the killer though. This is our last uphill. And it's after doing all those big uphills, this uphill is not easy. It goes around to the left here. I usually never have a strategy here. Sometimes I just give it my all and sprint it as much as I can. My son just runs right up this thing. It's insane. Oh, oh yeah. It's hard for your feet sometimes. You get grip here because it's so steep. The loose gravel. Yeah. Made it past that big uphill. Man, was that tough. So now I'm on the top here. You can just see the lake over there. Yeah. We're running over to that lake. Running around it this way. Morning run. Lake Maritanza. Up on top of uh, Sam's Point. This has got to be the best place in Ulster County. My favorite run. Three mile loop. First mile's major uphills. Major uphills. But it's all worth it because after that you reach the lake here, which is just beautiful. On the top, there's a little duck family out there. There's a mom with one, two, three, four, five, six, like seven babies. Really, really cool. This is the joys of uh, running in the wilderness like this up here in the beautiful Schwanguk Mountains. Eric's ahead of me, I gotta catch up to him now. There's more ducks out there. A few yards away, another duck family. Probably can't see him. Man, is this lake beautiful. The views down into the Hudson Valley, down towards the Newburgh area, get pretty intense way down there. Are you recording? So up here on top of the mountain, these are all wild blueberry bushes. There's miles of them up here on top of the mountain. You get into some of the flat parts on the open part of the mountain. It's all you can see. But now it's a little early. It's beginning of June. So there's no blueberries yet, but come middle of July, uh, you can start picking some. August is prime season up here. In fact, we have something called the Blueberry Festival in Ellenville. But I can run this whole loop here and have all three miles and just see nothing but blueberry bushes everywhere. Got to be careful if you're up here because a lot of black rattlesnakes. I've seen some four or five, six footers up here. Sometimes just laying on the road here. Hopefully I'll be able to see one this year and videotape it. Eric and I ran across a really big one last year. Here's the top of Sam's Point. Look at the views from up here. Look at that. Wow. Amazing. Love this place.
See all the way down to New Jersey, High Point, New Jersey. Pennsylvania way in the background there. So, Sam's Point is filled with a oh, little rabbit right there. Look at that. Big rabbit. <laughs> so Sam's Point is filled with one mile steep uphills to get to the lake. Now we're approaching our downhill here. And you can see I'm just gonna stop real quick and do a panoramic. This is amazing here. And yes, still more blueberry bushes all the way around. Look at that. It's our views from up here. This next mile is all downhill too. Just as hard as the uphill was. Very steep switchbacks. So that's Eric running in front of me. Eric, Tom from India was running, asking yesterday if you're still running with me. You're still all over it, right? Trying to keep up. Yeah. Look at these massive cliffs here. This is supposed to where Sam, the legendary Sam's Point, jumped off the cliff from Indians to save himself. From one of these cliffs, he landed in a tree and supposedly escaped. Came back into the village of Elmville to tell his story. So, up here was always known for the blueberries and huckleberries. And we're going to show you some of those um, old houses that they used to live in all summer long. Oh, 